Welcome to this video. Here we just going to start with the default cube. Then we go to the modifiers, then generate, and here we just going to add the subdivision surface modifier. And we are going to increase the levels to the five of both of them, the viewport as well as the render. Now we just create quickly a plane, scale it up by 20 units, come back to our cube, place it into position and we change to render view, then we apply the modifier, we go again to add another modifier, this time deform, then displace, here we click on new, like this, then on the right this icon here to show the texture, and here we are just going to choose Moronoi, and here for the distance we are going to change to Minkowski, the intensity we are going to increase to 2.2, and we reduce the size to about 0.15, like this, and we bring the strength down to 0.3. In edit mode with tab we just scale it on the y-axis a little bit to make it a little more wider on this axis. Then we add another modifier, another subdivision. And apply it. Just to achieve a more thin thin edges here as we can see. Then we add another subdivision surface modifier. Just to smoothen it out a little, little bit. And then the right click, shade smooth. Here we're going to split the screen. Then we click on this icon on the left and go to shade editor. And here we're going to start with our material. Here we just uh, are moving our point light and then we duplicated it with shift D and we select our ocean rock again and here we just typing in color shift A color ramp then we just change the color to about something not too dark gray and here We look to to find something a gray green a mix between gray and green, and here we just connected the color ramp to the base color of the principal PSDF. Here shift A again, and here we add a gradient texture like this. So next we're going to add another node, shift A, and we click on search, then we type in bump, then we just click the color ramp from before, shift D, then we reset the colors here, and we also add with shift A a noise texture, so we type in noise texture select it and then we connect the factor to the effector and the color of the color ramp to the height of the bump node and the normal to the normal of the principal PSDF. Here we're going to change some values in the noise texture node. So 
we type in 7 for detail, increase the roughness way up to 1, and we reduce the scale to 2. Then we just move the black slider a little bit more to the center, about 0.4 like this, 0.5. So next we're going, we want to add some glossiness, some wet looking material here on the rock. So what we need is of course the connect something to the roughness. Specifically we are going to connect a color ramp and a noise. So we just grab this one from below, shift D to duplicate and also here we were trying to connect the same noise texture node, but it was uh, better to just use a new noise with, with unique uh, individual values. So we disconnect again, create a new noise texture, so Shift D, so it is independent. Then we connect the factor to the factor. And here we just can connect the color of the colorant to the roughness of the principled BSDF. And here we change some values, so 5 for scale, detail 9, and the roughness we increase to 1. And here we just move the black slider a little bit more to the left, to about 0.3, and the white one to about 0.645. I think we still need to adjust the black slider more to the right, like this, yes. About 0.4, something like that. Now we're going to the world tab, and here we click on the yellow dot icon and choose environment texture, and here we load in our high dynamic range image, which you can download on polyhaven.com. In this case it is Cape Hill. Now we just go on the render to the render tab and here on the film we check the transparent box as well as ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections above. So this is the basic material, we just now increase the metallic to about 0.6 and now we're going to create for the for the lower part of the rock uh, first we add here uh, just a basic material for our background so we'll add a color ramp and then ambient occlusion node choose a gray here connect the color to the base color then shift a to search for ambient occlusion connect the when we select both, then we press F to connect them together. We increase the distance to 10 and then we just move the black slider more to the center, like this. We duplicate the color ramp, Shift D, reset color ramp. And now we just add a noise texture node, connect it. And this one will go to the IOR of the specular value. Just increased here the roughness to 1 and we move the black slider to the middle to about 0.455 So next we're going to create the green material now we're just moving some making some space here for our nodes move them up, select them all and G, grab them and place them more Just a little bit more up, and here we're just going to copy, duplicate these four nodes here. So we make a selection of these four nodes, Shift D to duplicate, 
Then we press Shift A, we tap in BSDF, choose Principal BSDF. We could have duplicated the Principal BSDF, but we want to start from a default, from default values. Here we're just getting rid of the gray color on the position 1. We move the greenish one a little bit more to the right. And then we, we will change the black slider to a, a subtle, not very bright green color. And now we're going to mix these two principal BSDF nodes together with a mix shader. So Shift A, we search for mix shader. And now we connect the first principal BSDF to the first shader and the other one to the second slot. And then the mix shader to the surface of the material output. And here we just need a separate XYZ node which we will connect to the factor of the mix shader. And we will also connect a color ramp to the separate XYZ node. So Shift A, color ramp, and now Shift A again, tap in separate, separate XYZ node like this. We connect the Z value to the factor of the color ramp. Here we just press Shift T, uh, Control, sorry, Control T which is only possible with the Node Wrangler installed, so Edit Preferences. We missed to show this uh, before, but it is under Edit Preferences, Add-ons. Make sure to check Node Wrangler. And here we just can connect the color of the, uh, to the factor of the mix shader. Now we just adjust our sliders of the color ramp a bit. We move the black one to about the center and the white one more to the left, like this. About 0.64 for the black one and 0.2 for the white one. So here we want to connect the bump, all the three nodes we already connected to the normal of the first material. We want to connect the bump to the normal of the green material as well. So here we are almost finished. Now we are just going to increase here the roughness value to about 0.7. So this is basically done. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see how to make the water text, which is actually not included in this video. So the water text you saw in the render, which will appear in a couple of seconds. Here we're just extruding the this edge here, eat extrude and Z, and here we're just beveling this edge, and right click in object mode, shade auto smooth like this. And thanks a lot for watching.